So we're back out on another little wild camping adventure. Something a little bit different today. I've gone pretty minimal when it comes to the gear. I'll be ticking off a couple of ethels and this lump is the first of the day. I've only brought the bare essentials with me today. No stove, no spare clothes. So we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. In fact, it'll probably be the first wild camp I've done without taking some kind of stove. Well worth the climb up. This is Thorpe Cloud. First Ethel of the day done. What a view. It's a bit windy. Right, I'm gonna get off this hill before I get blown off it. So we're coming up to the infamous Dovedale Stepping Stones. It's a school holidays, I expect it to be rammed. Heading back up, Dovedale down below is gorgeous and it's been brilliant seeing so many people out. A little bit tougher this one. So this one's called Tissington Hill. So this is the second ethyl bag today. It's a bit tougher to get to, so you might need to use your imagination a bit if you want to tick this one off. Not too shabby. So I managed to get everything in this 33 litre backpack. Still room to spare. So I've not brought my lightest gear. I've just bought items that I think are the bare minimum that I would bring camping with me. So this is just the bare minimum for me personally. Somebody else might need more gear. Other people can manage with no gear. Just maybe a knife and a ferro rod. Here we go, home for the night. Camped in worse spots. What a stunning evening. Considering it was so busy down there. Got the place to myself now. Those colours. Supper time. No sit mat. Said I was just bringing the bare minimum. So I'm going to use my raincoat, poncho, just to sit on. Right, so I said, no stove. Stove's nice to have. It's nice to have a hot cup of tea, 
but you don't need one. You do need food. Got <laughs> corn, beef, cheese, and Branston. Mars bar or two, and some of those little cheese and biscuit things. So this is my food for supper and breakfast. It tastes nicer than those dehydrated meals. Granted, it's not hot, but I don't need a hot meal tonight. Not had these for ages. Cheese and biscuits. It's not quite brie, <laughs> but it'll do a job. No tiny pump in flight here today. That's a luxury. But I do need a sleeping pad of some description or some insulation from the ground. So I'm not going to come camping without one of these. Not as quick this way though. So the sleeping pad, Seat of Summit Comfort Plus. This is my favourite nowadays. It's, it's not mega thick, but I get no pressure points on this, so I, I sleep better on it. You've already briefly seen the quilt. So this is the Sierra Designs Nitro 20. I've been using this a lot lately as well. I've said it before, good value for money. Keeps me warm to around zero degrees. I suppose I could do without this. Just use me jacket. But a pillow, it means I can sleep. If I can't sleep, there's no point in camping. Seat of Summit, Eros Premium Regular. Brought me puffy jacket. This is a Rab Mythic Ultra, it's really warm. Might need that later on. So the tent I've brought is the Terra Nova Starlight one. It's not massive, but it is quite discreet, low profile. It's extremely good in the wind. So I am quite exposed here. So if the wind picks up, I'll be fine. So my poncho come sit pad, from ground sheet, everything else really. Um, this is the Snug Pack Patrol Poncho. So I've been using this a lot lately as well. I've ditched the, not ditched, but I've been using this instead of a regular jacket. I feel like I've got a lot more freedom with it, a lot more air around me. Um, I really like it. And then the backpack is the Talon 33 Osprey. Got a pack liner. There's a buff in here. I've obviously got my trowel and my toilet kit. That is about it. You've seen my sandwich box. I have got a little toolkit. I've got my car keys in there. Got wash kit and a small little toolkit come first aid kit. Real basic stuff in here. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and a little bit of mouthwash. Like I said, I've got some spare batteries for my head torch, which I'll show you that in a minute. Some Luco tape, little tiny wipe, two of those. I've got a really small multi-tool, which has got pliers in and scissors. I like that. Bit of duct tape. Repair kit for my sleeping pad, um, sanitation wipes or whatever, and that is my <laughs> wound fixer, <laughs> super glue. That's it. There's my little head torch, Petzl. Get it on the red one. Don't want to blind you.
I brought my little Roo waste pack. That's only got in, there's a GoPro in there. And down here I've got a little power bank, but I need those to film with. But other than that, nothing. It's pretty basic for me. Uh, I wanted this camp to be more about just camping. Not after faff with all of the little gadgets, gizmos, gear. I've got decent stuff, obviously. Um, I'm in an exposed area and I want to be comfortable. But you don't need to bring the kitchen sink with you every time. Can you hear the owl? No fancy cappuccino tonight. <laughs> Water. Not brought a lantern, so my little headlamp is doubling up. So unless I get visited by aliens, that's it for the night. So I shall see you tomorrow. been lucky just lately with these colours. I can live <laughs> with a cheese biscuit for my breakfast. But I do regret not bringing my stove. That is not the same as a coffee in the morning. But other than a stove for a hot drink, there's nothing else that I regret leaving at home. All those other things that you bring just in case. A spare lighter in case your lighter breaks. <laughs> spare set of clothes for sleeping in, I didn't bother. For one night, for me anyway, I've not needed them. And it's been nice not having all that extra stuff to faff about with. Work around in your tent, in your backpack. Literally just brought the things that I need to sleep and survive literally only bought the things I need to give me a warm night shelter and a bit of indigestion. So it's only just gone 6am. When I get down the bottom I might be lucky enough to get on the stepping stones this morning. Too busy yesterday. Although it's great to see so many people enjoying the great outdoors, I must admit, I do prefer getting all this to myself. There was a couple of bits of gear that I forgot to mention yesterday. First up is my Zolio satellite communicator. You don't always have signal around these parts so it's good to have some kind of backup plan if you need some help. As well as be able to let the missus know that you're alright. And the other bit is a water filter. I've been using this one lately, really like it. The Platypus Quick Draw. So the thread on this size is the same size as a Pepsi Max bottle. So if I need some more water, I can just scoop some up from the stream, screw that on and drink straight out of it. It was pretty mild last night. 
dropped to around 10 degrees. So as you can imagine, there are no dramas for the tent, the quilt or the sleeping pad. Speaking of tents, if you head over to messner.co.uk in our latest prize competition, we've got an MSR tin dime up for grabs. And there's also a GoPro Hero 11 and Insta360 action cam bundle. A couple of great prizes there, if you're interested. I will leave a link in the description below, as well as links to all the gear that I've used today. Some of those are affiliate links, some aren't. And there's also a few decent discount codes for gear as well. That might help you out. If I get quickly packed up, see if we can get on those stepping stones. It's much easier to get packed up when you don't bring as much. So I'm pretty sure that you're all switched on and that you know that we leave no trace when we go wild camping. Nothing more than a little bit of flat grass. Now let's try and not get wet crossing those stepping stones. This place was rammed yesterday. Seven o'clock in the morning, best time to come. So we've reached the end of another little adventure. Beautiful part of the Peak District. I don't come over this end often enough, to be honest with you. Another couple of Ethels in the bag. All in all, a lovely start to the week. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.